Ooh, what's going on guys? I'm Jake the Offensive Gamer, and this is The Wolf Among Us, Episode 5, Part 2. And holy shit, that last part was intense. It had a lot of really interesting bits and uh, a lot of really cool revelations as to what's been going on in the series so far. Still warm. He's here, all right. So I'm curious as to what would happen uh, should I had uh, gone after the Crooked Man instead. I'm still ha I'm happy with my decision, though. I mean, I'm not kicking myself over that one. That was really interesting. Yeah, just break it open. Forget that there might be guys with shotguns standing right in front of it. Sorry if you guys can hear a little bit of uh, a pattering in the background. My uh, pet, my cat, is uh, in the room and he's eating food. I'm getting tired of him doing that. He needs to so stop eating. Where they've been sending these. Just stay still and die. Oh, fucking cat. I hate you. Hey. I hate you. Alright. He knows. Bigby Wolf. The big bad wolf. I'm getting really tired of this bitch. Just clock her over the head with a fucking frying pan. Just get it, it over with. Be something. I feel like I would have seen you taking these pictures of me. Like that one's pretty obvious. You were very close. I don't like how I'm moving right now. It feels very... Not clunky, it just doesn't feel right. This is where she made the silver bullets. Aw, oh, shit. It's about time you showed up. I had to take care of some things first. Little errand boy. That's nice. Ah, Bigby. I see you made it here in one piece. I do apologize, but I have some business to attend to. I leave you in the capable hands of my associate. Come find me when you finish, dear. Don't worry. This won't take long. His eye looks funny. Get out of my way now. Don't make this worse. Aw, he doesn't want to play. I'm sure you'll persuade him. <laughs> Cut this shit out! Didn't your mother ever teach you manners? Or was she too busy fucking whatever breeze drifted through town? <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> Is that the best you can do? That's cheating. You can't disappear. Oh, fuck that. No. No, we're not- no. Don't do that. Fuck that shit, I'm staying here. No, go back out. This- this is... Bullshit. What happened to Choice? I don't want to go down here. I'm- I'm gonna get killed. 
Why am I so animated right now? Calm down. Oh shit! Jesus Christ! I pressed X there. Fuck you, I'm pressing the buttons. Where are you? Okay, maybe I maybe I was successful. I like the other version of you better. You look a lot hotter with your clothes on. Hey, that's cheating. I have a hard time with one of you. This <laughs> shit. Fuck. Fuck me, dude. This is tough. Oh, God. Dead bitch. Am I going to start breathing fire now or something? <laughs> that was close.
Hello, Bigby. You look tired. Give me one good reason not to rip you apart right now. This gun holds six rounds of specially designed silver bullets. Now, I may not be the best shot, but I can guarantee that at least one bolt will meet its mark, and you'll find yourself rolling on the floor in agony, unable to heal yourself. Without Swineheart to save you, you'll die. Is that reason enough for you? Before you do anything with me, I thought I should point out a few things. Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And that's what I want. You plan to do what she says, don't you? Snow's not here. You're dealing with me now. That may be true, but I'd advise against defying your new boss, at least for the time being. You will bring me back alive. Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Can we at least agree on that? I will have a trial. The whole town will be calling for your execution. Why would you want me to bring you back there? Why don't you let me worry about that? Look, there's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. That's funny, coming from a guy pointing a gun at my head. This is just a precaution. I'm sure you understand. I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. I didn't kill those women. And I think you know that. You gave the orders. What I'm asking for is a chance to explain my side of the story. Maybe you didn't carry it out. But I don't think Georgie was lying when he said you ordered their deaths. Georgie would have said anything to save himself. We both know that. I'm a businessman, not a killer. There's still a lot you have to answer for. And I will. As long as you agree to my terms. Because I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. And I don't think I'm being unreasonable. If you decide to do something stupid, like murder me, you won't get your answers. But you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. You're often reckless. And I worry you're not thinking of the... Let me ask you an honest question. What do you really care about here? Where this case is concerned, I mean. Do you really want the truth? Or do you just want to look like the hero? Because those are two very different things. This is about protecting Fable Town. When some asshole murders two of our people, it's my job to bring them down. Then why are you here? You know who murdered them. Georgie. He's dead, isn't he? My point being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. You really think I'm that stupid? I understand you have an obligation to bring me in. But you can brighten up a little. It's over. So, shall we get going? I'd rather not dawdle. You know, I'm actually looking forward to seeing Miss White again. My previous interactions with her have gone rather well. I'm curious. Right, let's go. Hand over the gun. I think I'd rather hold on to it, if you don't mind. What do you say? Fine. I'm sure Miss White will be pleased. Such a reliable pup. I understand why she'd want to keep you around. You're under arrest. You'll be given a trial in front of your peers. <clears throat> and your punishment will follow. That guy's a dick.